guys, this is Tracy here and welcome to the MG Tracy Club. So today we've got five fire engines to take a look at. We've got four with lights and sounds and we've got one a very old fire engine that's uh, made out of metal. So uh, let's take a close look shall we? So this one needs a little bit of a clean actually but it does have uh, an extendable ladder here with a wheel to turn the ladder and a freestanding ladder that unclips on the side and we have the American Eagle there, American LaFarts it says and some nice detail on the side this part's made of tin and uh, of metal and so is this part, the rest is plastic. Some nice features on the front there and uh, gauges on the side. I think we've lost half the ladder and I wonder if it says the date on the bottom actually. Sometimes they do. This is a, a Buddy L and it was made in Japan. Fortunately it doesn't say the date, but never, nevertheless it is an interesting fire engine there. Alright, so the next one is a Tonka fire department. Just down so that we can see it a bit closely. And the lever loop. The leather lifts off and it pivots as well and also extends and we have a hose here at the top. This is a fire truck from P8 and we have extra ladders on the side and mock fuel gauges there as well. And you can see the Tonka sign there with the department badge. Great detail on the front there with uh, windscreen wipers and the Tonka logo. And some more mock dials and gauges on the side. And the number to dial to report a fire. Oxygen inside, rescue tools inside. So let's give the lights and sounds a bit of a blast. All units code 4109 evidence 53. So that's a rather cool fire engine there from Tonka. So uh, let's take a look at the next one. Alright, so here and uh, the So the ladder, the ladder lifts up and down on a ratchet motion and also we have a hose at the front there, you can put um, a, a figure in the front there and we'll swing to and throw and we'll also extend as well, so that's rather neat and also you can move, move the ladder around with this um, sort of pivot here. And also we've got a, a hose here and if we use the dial at the top that will wind the hose back in hopefully. There goes the hose back in and we'll just press the button at the top. This is quite neat so uh, let's have a look at this. So the struts to support the vehicle will just lift down when you press this button. Let's take a close look inside the cap. 
so you can see where the driver and the passenger would sit there. And you've got mock dials on the side there. This is vehicle number five. That's of course where our hose comes out of. Great big chunky wheels as well. And I believe the back lifts down. Yeah, that's great. So you can put well, figures or you can put cars inside there. And on this side, we have doors which open so you can put tools inside there. And again, this is the button at the top, so that lets down the struts, which I think is rather cool. Uh, let's press the button and uh, see what sound it makes. That's very cool, lots of features there and some great lights and sounds as well. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom, see if we can uh, see who it's made by. Well, it's um, made in China. And uh, it's a Fisher Price toy, this one. And you can turn the lights and sounds off at the bottom, it's battery operated. So that's a, a great little fire engine, that one. So this is a Unit 25 a Rescue Force fire engine and we'll move it over to see it in detail. So we've got a, an extinguisher at the front and um, the ladder pivots to and throw here and also extends to the front and you can put um, you can put figures on there. Of course you can put your firemen on the ladders there so long as they're in scale and we've got uh, lights and horns on the front and we've got the buddy l shield there with the word rescue on the side and lots of mock dials and buttons there and cabinets along the side to, well not cabinets along the side, to store all the rescue equipment. So uh, let's give the lights and sounds a bit of a blast. Building on fire, unit 25 responding. Building on fire. Unit 25 responding. So fantastic lights and sounds with, with this particular fire engine and uh, more mock tools and cabinets on the other side and also fire extinguishers and uh, helmets on the side there. And, and more extinguishers at the back. Probably would have had a ladder on the side, but uh, that, that's no longer there, unfortunately. But they are fantastic, the, the sound, so let's give them another blast. <coughs> like this button. That's great fun. And uh, last but not least in the, in the uh, top five fire engines that we've got here for you today is uh, this particular fire engine and it's uh, fire code number four and uh, lots of features here again with uh, a pivoting ladder which extends and again plenty of room for figures there to clamber up and down that ladder. We've got mock hoses there. We've got the lights at the top of the vehicle. 
lots of chrome on, on this particular uh, fire engine which makes it a little bit more authentic and ladder on the side all the mock dials there and even chrome inside the wheels plenty of chrome on the front here lots of detail I'll get in nice and close there so you can see and here we go we've got uh, more mock cabinets lots of uh, dials and storage space there but most importantly let's uh, check out the lights and sounds Ladder Company 4, fire on Main Street. Ladder Company 4, fire on Main Street. Unit 3, we're on. Oh, so the third button, sorry, the fourth button doesn't work, unfortunately. Ladder Company 4, fire on Main Street. Ladder Company 4, fire on Main Street. Unit 3, we're on. Unit 3, we're on. So oh, there you go then guys, that's all five of uh, my top five engines here. Let me know which one you thought I would do. And so don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Come back for a whole lot more videos. And I'll just pick my favourite bit of a last flare. So here we go. So come back for a whole lot more then guys and I shall see you very soon. Bye for now.